Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're just approaching the southern outskirts of Banbury on the Oxford Canal. As you can see the canal narrows just here ahead. It's the site of an old lift bridge. There's quite a lot like that on the Oxford Canal. Fortunately we haven't got to lift it up, which is good news. Over on the left is a playing field and then behind that there's some housing estates and to the right at the moment it's just empty fields. I'm making this trip at about 9 o'clock in the morning on the 25th of January 2019. It's quite nice sunlight this morning, it's quite pleasant and not too cold which makes a change. Coming up on the left is a winding hole. Now normally when I travel to Banbury, at least recently, I would turn around in that winding hole and head back on down towards Oxford again. But since I'm doing a, a an extended cruise this year, we'll be carrying straight on. So really for me, this is where my 2019 cruising adventure really begins. Because I haven't been beyond this point for about 18 months. So this is all not really been covered greatly in video so here we go on the right are long-term CRT moorings this area is known as tramways don't know why and at the end of these moorings you'll see them in a minute there's uh, visitor moorings which are it's a really nice place to stop and you're literally a stone's throw away from a big Morrison supermarket so it's really convenient as well
Okay, here is the visitor moorings. Um, it's 14 days as far as I know. In the summer it does get quite busy down here because it's such a convenient place to stop. I personally don't stop here because I'm not very happy with letting the cats out because I'm now on the towpath side on the right there we're starting to get into like industrial estates on that side and you see that bridge up ahead if you cross that bridge to the left there's a big Morrison's supermarket it's literally a stone's throw away from the canal very easy so mooring up here is a really good place to stop Now there's no shortage of mooring places in Banbury because on the other side of this bridge there's also a load more places where you can moor up but for some reason it doesn't seem to be as popular as elsewhere. I personally think this area is a bit rough and I'm not, I wouldn't be too happy stopping here. Um, you only normally see boats moored up here when all the other spots are full up. Um, I can't vouch for the safety of the place but I don't know, just trust your instincts really. Also, it can be a bit smoky because I don't know what that place is on the left there. I think it's some sort of foundry and it's often like lots of smoke and smells coming from that place. But as I said, you can moor anywhere along the towpath along here if you choose to. Here's another ex-Lithbridge site. Believe it or not, we're almost in the centre of Banbury now. So far, this video has been playing at double speed because I need to cover lots of ground. But in a moment, we'll, we'll switch back down to real-time video for a little while. And here we go. Oh, nice and slow and leisurely. On the right is Banbury Railway Station. You can't really see it from the canal, but it's very close. And on the left, well, very close to the town centre now.
just on the other side of this bridge, on the left, are the CRT BOTUS facilities. We've got refuse, water, LSAN, and there's even a toilet there. But currently that's been vandalised and it's out of order. One thing I will point out, if you're mooring up in the centre of Banbury like that, is to watch out for the stone sides of the canal. The concrete is quite high and can damage your paintwork if you're not careful. But as you'll see, look, there's some mooring bollards there. And directly ahead of that is a little bridge and Banbury Lock. And that'll be about as far as I'm going today. But I am going to pull in briefly to the BOTUS facilities to, to get rid of some rubbish and to do a little bit of videos to show you what's there. You will need your waterways key to access these facilities because they are very prone to vandalism being in the centre. That's the rubbish place. There's water, which is not on that sign for some reason. There's the L sand place, more of that in a moment. And then there's a toilet which is out of order. Um, but that L sand place was really quite disgusting. Look, you won't see Tim and Prue visiting places like this. That's quite nasty. And that's not mud. However, they do tend to vary on the canal. Right, back to double speed video again and I'm just going to go into the lock and then this video will end and then I'll carry on the rest of the trip in part two. Before they built the Castle Quay shopping centre and redeveloped the centre of Banbury, Bridge 165 used to be a big lift bridge. You used to have to get someone really fat to, to hang on the beam because it was a very heavy one. Um, but now they've made it a fixed bridge, which is nice and easy, you go straight under it. But annoyingly, they've added another brand new lift bridge just beyond the lock, which is a bit of a pain, but I'll tell you about that one in the next video. And all the locks from Banbury upwards now have double gates in the lower lock. So that's about it for this trip. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you for part two very soon. <laughs>